What is up, Affected, and welcome back to SCW Action. It is Tuesday night, Turbo, and that means it is time to get back in with this invasion action, and uh, the ground floor has been laid from Crossroads. This is our fallout. The man, the myth, the legend, Ali D, the Iron Brew, a.k.a. Nerd Champion is now going to try to use his powers and his wits to take down the opposing force, ZCW, with the brand new Sugar Walls champion, Mr. Shifted 316. Here we go. Let's get it on. And I'm telling you right now, you guys do not want to miss a single minute of the action tonight because there's a lot. There's a lot of different. There is a lot of uh, payback. There's a lot of redemption tonight. Ali D. <clears throat> Oh, I said this in Lissy stream. Wedding plans are a go. Who's coming? <gasps> really? That's awesome. When did this take place? Did this take place on stream? When, when did this happen? Why did I? Why was I the last to know? Why did Listy get to know before me? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Red Walrus. Hmm. For me. And Norville Rogers didn't even know. Really? You told the Whisker Biscuit King before you told me and the Norville Legion? Norville! Hmm! Thank you, Red. Yes. Uh-huh, Delve. We will be there. Yeah. The last to know. Just happened like yesterday. We all have social media. Hosted. Metal Mugway! <laughs> Congrats. It is congratulations, Delve. You know I'm giving you shit. That's awesome news. It's good news on this fucking Tuesday. Yeah. Ali D was and is the reigning nerd champion of SCW. But the problem is, is that since 2018, not one man or woman has been able to take that championship from his waist. He is now turned tail and he requires that you boo him because he has defaced the nerd championship by making it now the Iron Brew Championship. I'll be sure to send y'all all the invites. Love y'all. Night. Good night, Dale. Congratulations. Uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Is das Deutsch tief? Yes, it is in German tonight. We, we actually have closed captioning in German. I need good news today. I had a rubbish day. Well, it's Tuesday. We expect all days on Tuesday to be rubbish. Mr. Shifted actually took the Sugar Walls Championship from Dr. Jekyll at Crossroads, and tonight he's going to put his money where his mouth is when he takes on probably, hands down, the most dominant guy in all of SCW. Boo! Boo! Nerd Effect Stream is sponsored by Louisiana Iced Tea and Kingsford Charcoal. I have both of those. Delve is Netflix and chilling tonight. Do you drink Pepsi because you're so delicious? Pepsi's gross. Norval Rogers! Good night, Delve, and congrats to whatever it is that I missed. Delve is planning a wedding. All right. Norval Rogers getting the spin out early. Now I've got to double duty this. Where is, there it is. Shifted doing some work on LED right now. I don't drink cola drinks. This is a tables match. I knew she was engaged. No, right, no, no. But she's getting married. Like there's a date set. Like, like there's gonna be a day when da 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 happens. All right, Nova Rogers making it difficult on a, on an old man. But all right, let's see how you are. That is a green no prize. But you know what? That's the whole point of the game. All right, Ali D, working it. They actually set a date. Yes, yes. Green ball. No, 
But yeah, if we had a green ball, you get a green ball. We don't have one, so you don't get one. There, that's how that works. Shifted, sending Ali D out. Ali D taking the abuse. This is a tables match, so it can end at any possible moment. Metamogwai, how are you doing? How is the Nun Champion and the Queen of Hell Champion doing tonight? Don't you sad face me. Big backbreaker right there. You gonna raid Area 51 with me? <laughs> no, no, no. Your name is Killer Matt, not Kyle Matt. <laughs> Allie D with a crazy moonsault off the second rope to take down Shifted. But yeah, Killer Matt, um, you actually wrestled last night on Monday night. Jizzy is run to the hills. What? By the way, the question I asked earlier is, is the German deep? I joined the group for a laugh. Is the German deep? I, I don't know. I, I, what, what is her name? Can you tell me her name? Looks like Esky Beats managed. Wow, all by your lonesome. Good job. Ali D setting up the table. Got the Scottish flag waving in the background right there. Taking a stomp to shifted Ali D, trying to work it. Good game, Esky. Yes. I've uh, been feeling kind of ill a little. Me too. I feel you. I saw the episode yesterday. Okay. No, no, no. Did you see the wrestling episode? I know you were talking about Area 51, but did you see the wrestling episode after? Monday nights we do, uh, normally, we do a show and then wrestling, and that's that's the show that, that Killer Matt is on. But since we're doing the invasion angle, you could show up at any point in time this week. Just like Bronson Strowman done showed up in this match, Ali D refuses to lose, and now he has hired the help of Braun Strowman to take down Shifted. Red Walrus! Shifted with that tilt to world DDT off the top turnbuckle. Taken down Braun, but Ali D there to pick up. Ali D and Braun are friends. Yeah, uh, Ali D hooked him up with some iron brew. Ali D with a, a flying knee for some reason. That was just odd, but you do you. Sure, we're good. Twisted using all the. Uh, twisted. Wow. Progressive! What's going on, buddy? Shifted from the top rope. Sugar Walls champ misses. Crash and burn as Ali D gets those knees up. Hey, you're progressive. Ali D. Side suplex right there. Hey, pal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ali D looking over this victim right now. The toot toot wonder has gone to the dark side. Kick to the gut. But yeah, 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 yeah. I think it'd be fun to invade Area 51. I think that'd be great. Shifted, got him up with that last ride. All the way down, Ali D done cracked his back. Have you seen the uh, Scott Ian NECA figures? This shit expensive just because it got signature. It looks cool though. I have not seen that. I have not. Is, is it signed by him? Who's it signed by? Aaron Brew is good, but has nothing on uh, Tunex Tea Cakes, right? The tea cakes are amazing. Those things are ridiculous. And I want to say it was Allie that sent those to me. But they are they're top notch, dude. Allie D off the ropes. Oh, he caught him! Caught him with that, that quick box car to the ears. Send it shifted into the table. Allie D trying to set him up, trying to put the champ away, proving that he is top notch, and he does! Ali D continues the perfecto streak tonight, taking down ZCW. It's signed by him. It comes with a guitar and several heads. One of the heads is zombified. That's actually pretty cool. What's the price tag on it? Ali D took the abuse, but in the end, it was shifted that went through the table. table just explodes over him. Here is your winner, Ali D. Well, the signature makes it through the roof. Uh, it's like 150, somewhat 120 for it. That's not too bad for a figure. That's not too bad. But yeah, it, it's up there. Need a trash panda? Check out Lethal. He is streaming right now. Streaming some Fortnite. 
Good show, cameraman. Lady Bells! <laughs> Hi, D, fellow weirdos. Speak for yourself, bro. Good to see you, Lady Bells. How was your day today? How was your Tuesday? Heist. Dan trying to get the team together. Uh, it's awful for a figure. I would understand for like uh, 12 inches. But he's 6 inches, maybe 7. Yeah, probably. Mama D! That's right. That's right. All right. Our next one is... Uh, that is a six-way. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Uh, my day was okay, except for this morning when I spent two hours in the dentist chair. <sighs> oh. 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 I hate the dentist. I'm so sorry. I accidentally got him for $70. Free shipping. The sales tag is like $6. Under 80 got lucky. That's awesome. Breaks out my cast iron still at Mama D in the house. That's right. I just got a feeling. Uh, I just got the feeling back in my face an hour ago. Wow. Did they do a lot of work or is it just like a hard to get tooth? Because I've been in that situation. Where the hell is he at? There he is. A very, very, very deep cleaning. Whew. Ooh. All right, here we go. So, you folks out there in Wonderland are wondering what in the holy hell this is about. Well, we have a number one contender, but the problem is that the belt that the number one contender, the World Heavyweight Championship, which is Bros the Platinum King, he actually won it from a ZCW competitor. He won it from Red Walrus. In ZCW rules, there are no automatic rematch clause. Therefore, Bros is a champion with no contender. So over the next couple of weeks, we will slowly divide and conquer and find out who will be the number one contender for the SCW World Heavyweight Championship tonight. These five men will battle out for round one. The dentists of Norway are fracking expensive. Really? Uh, they always put way too much um, anesthetic for me. Um, I hate feeling it up the side of my face. I like it. I say, get it up. Oh man, I'm so excited for uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow the San Diego Comic Con starts. They're going to be throwing new NECA stuff. Let's see here. And they're currently tight lip about it. Oh, so they're going to start talking about it. What it do? <gasps> DMK, how did you know you were competing tonight? Wait for it. Just wait for it. Uh, hey, DMK. Yeah, and showing stuff. Oh, yeah, that's what San Diego Comic-Con is. And a lot of the stuff with San Diego is uh, you can't have it unless you're here. And even if you're here, you can't have it unless you're, like, second line in the booth. Uh, I didn't. There you go. What is going on, undefined dime? Good to see you, my friend. How was your Tuesday, dude? How was Tuesday treating you? Hi. Huh? Thank you, DMK. I, I see it. I see it. I can see how excited you are from here. It's time to get some curtains, dude. It's time to get some curtains. Shaggy and hippie chick hanging out tonight. Uh, sup, man? That's right. <clears throat> so one of these six men will walk out with the uh, the first slot for that coveted SCW World Heavyweight Champion. And yes, only one man that's in this ring has ever held that belt, and that is Mr. Michael Furberger. Could he get the number one spot back tonight? Uh, sup, Undefined Dime. Good to see you. Listwitz is chatting right now. Lethal is chatting right now. EWE is on. Hello, Frodo, Progressive, DMK, Red Walrus. I need to get some sleep. Good night. Metal Mogwai, thank you so much for stopping in tonight. It is always great to see you. Hopefully you have a fan damn -tastic Wednesday. Wednesday. Or Wednesday, whatever you want. We'll go with Wednesday. Entering the chamber first. It would be Lurking Spock. Appreciate you being here, man. I know you're playing Listwitz. You're good. Good night, Ange. Making his way to the ring from San Diego, California. Weighing in at 
H2K, former tag team champion in his own right. Now, he is no longer part of the World Cup action, no longer part of a tag team. He is now a lone wolf. Metal, good night. Hello, Spock. Make sure you guys check out Lethal and Liswitz. Lethal Liswitz. And to move this over here. I see throughout the years the people have asked NECA to tackle WB figures. They say no. I'm sure the figures would be insane, but honestly, I can't see them doing it. No, no, I, I can't see them either. That they, they've got a contract with Hasbro. Um, they've yeah, you know, they, they've got it. Don't, or Mattel. I can't remember which one it is. I think it might be Mattel. But yeah, no, NECA doesn't really want to tackle that unless it's like an exclusive or something, like a Ric Flair or something. But for the most part, nah, I don't see him doing it. That is Mayor of Toronto, Michael Furberger. And he was the first and for the longest time the only SCW World Heavyweight Championship. He's been part of the World Cup, and now is his chance to gain it back. Heist. Wish I could go to San Diego Comic Con. Whew. I just, I don't know if I can handle all the people, man. <clears throat> What's going on, Lethal? Good to see you, man. That's right. Lethal stream is in Fortnite right now. Make sure you check him out. GQ Smooth, another man that was part of the World Cup, now back in singles competition action. Former champion in his own right with the uh, extreme champion. Building America. Lethal Smirk. Hey, Jinxie. Go back and play Fortnite, Lethal. <laughs> He's on break. GQ smooth. Now, 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 now. And from Canada, swinging at 100. As you can see, he didn't change anything. He is the singing gamer, Fizzy C. Former extreme champion as well. Canada, there you go. Elimination Chamber match, this ought to be good. Singing Gamer, make sure you check him out right here on Twitch and also YouTube. And he does wear that exact outfit on his show, by the way. Fight! Fable! What is going on, you winged demon with lace and bohemoths? It looks like Jonesy and J-Dub will start off this match. Have you seen their four-pack of the Gremlins Christmas Caroling? I have not seen that. Yeah, I need to get that. I need to get that, Progressive. How are you doing tonight, Fable? Fish Stick Kicker. That's right, over 500 hours of the Nerdy Effect. Damn. Damn. Even I haven't watched this show for 500 hours. Points. You're getting there, Red. You're close, buddy. You just need to, like, um, chloroform Dan so he doesn't get to watch for, like, a week. And then you'll catch him. All right, Jonesy. Good Lord. Get in the ring, man. You can do it. Dan needs to go on a week's vacation. <laughs> Norvell Rogers is a blue pants burner. J-Dub. Former barbecue champion. Former holiday tag team champion. Hi, everyone. Fable Mad Love. Oh, maybe it's Vixen. 
It's Vixen. There you guys go. Make sure you, if you like fat guys with Cheeto stains and gaudy heels, check out Fable Vixen right here. Um, the two pack is thirty nine ninety nine tax, etc., which is not really that bad in my opinion. I'm sure they will give slight discount for the four pack rather than placing two. I don't think they will. I don't think they'll give you a slight discount. I just I don't see them doing it. I see them upping the price. You want the four pack, you're gonna pay more. All right, here we go. Elimination Chamber. Who will win, win round one? The fact that the former champion Michael Furberger is locked inside the cage is good odds on his part. Another interesting fact in this, let me check it. Yes, every single competitor in this match was a former member of the World Cup. Every single one of them. Why? Are they scumbags? I thought they're nice. Nobody that sells you anything is nice. Uh, the what was that? The fattest and gaudiest on Twitch. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that moment, if you forgot what you did with your cell phone, spend 10 minutes looking for it to find it on the charger in your bedroom. Throw on panties. Woo, fight. How are you doing tonight, Fable? You plan on streaming tonight? No, no, your, your schedule was Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Is that right? Here we go. Who will be the third competitor in this as Jonesy is 100%. Running away with J-Dub, literally. Wilbur Rogers saying, come on, J-Dub, ref not paying attention. And it'll be H2K. But yes, every single one of these guys that's in this match was part of the World Cup. So now they're back in the singles competition. And one of them could perhaps be your next world champion. You go from the cup to the championship. Big shoulder right there to H2K. Yes, uh, but I promised a stream later. What are you going to stream? You going to stream tonight? That was really weird. Nobody saw that except for me. That bottle just, like, moved on its own. Jonesy working on J-Dub. Now he's taking the big man H2K for a ride. Jonesy pound for pound. The largest real athlete that we have in all of SCW. Joy Voice, how you doing? <laughs> Mice! I want to watch wrestling. Oh, Jada with the super kick to H2K. As we back out to find out who will be next. And it is Singing Gamer once again giving Furberger the ride, the easy ride back to the top. Hey, good, and you? Actually, the NECA Golden Girl 4-pack was slightly discounted uh, compared if you were two separate orders. If you've seen the 4, I think they'll be shit. I don't think the Golden Girls look like look bad. I just think they, they messed up on the B. Arthur, if you ask me. They, they made they made B. Arthur very mannish, and I know that she was tall, but come on, it's B. Arthur. You can remake a new doll. But yeah, if I had if I had the spare cash, I would probably buy the Golden Girls just for the just for the hell of it, just because I watched that show. I probably shouldn't have, but I was watching that show. J. Dub getting back in, throwing the kicks wildly. I'm doing good, Fable. Fable wanting to watch wrestling, ready to get in the action. Super kick. Right there from Singing Gamer to Jonesy. J Dub trying to get a pinfall real quick. One. No. And Furberger will be dead last coming out, giving him the top advantage. GQ Smooth of the Faux Show Show. Do not take any wooden nickels right there. Coming into it, J Dub started this match out with Jonesy. No one has been eliminated just as of yet. But yes, the winner of this will go on to fight for the championship. And there'll be another round four, too. There's, there's going to be multiple number one contenders. Raise your hand if you were watching Golden Girls when it was still on. <laughs> did, you just sh did you just use my own show trick against me? Damn it, Fable. And finally, last but not least, the Fur Burgery, the mayor of Toronto, will now enter the match. GQ Smooth of the Neckbreaker right there to J-Dub. Planning to buy a DVD set. Spock, I thought you were creeping. <laughs> Y'all are old. <laughs> That's so Blanche of you. GQ Smooth with that crazy sunset flip off the top of the cage to J-Dub on the outside. Everyone is in. That is very Blanche of her. You're right. It's very Blanche. I always like Sophia, though. People are nuts on Twitter. They're hysterical. They're not. They're not. They're not all hysterical. One shot to go and go to blouse and then Freddy Krueger in distance and capital under one of the girls you see. You like you? Yes, just like that. High five, guys. 
H2K is the first one to tap out. Raise your hand for Red Walrus if you get a Red Walrus reference. <laughs> H2K and J Dub tap out. Oh my God! Singing Gamer just speared Michael Furberger through the cage wall. J Dub's dreams are over. H2K's are over. GQ, Jonesy, Singing Gamer, and Furberger, who is limp, being dragged out of the cage after being put through that plexiglass wall. Wow! There's so much going on right back to back. Jonesy trying to sneak in, get the pin. One, two, no. That's the same chamber he started in. Yeah, they, they speared him back to his own chamber. Singing Gamer don't give no S's or V's. Quick Huracan Rana right there standing up. GQ Smooth who made J-Dub tap out. Send him to the outside. Cheers is life. Fight me. Who was your favorite character on Cheers, Fable? Raise your hand if you watched Cheers when it was still live. <laughs> Go for the pin on Jonesy. One. No. Team alone. Oh, Cheers is a good show. It's not the best show, but Cheers is a good show. Sir Pizza. Too sweet, baby. Furberger shaking the cobwebs and getting put to the chamber. Cliffy. There you go. There you are. I see you, buddy. Singing Gamer running GQ Smooth into the chamber. Can I have some pizza? You got to ask Pizza the Hut. He, he's in charge. Jonesy got it up. Big release. Power bomb. Jackknife him. Furberger down in the center of the ring. One, two. No, Furberger is still in it. What's going on, JJ? Good to see you tonight. What? No? Norm? Frazier. GQ Smooth has made Jonesy tap out with that Operation Hug the World. Wow. You started watching it because Frazier is from it. No, Frazier was second. Cheers was first. And now GQ Smooth going for the pin on singing. One, two. Still in it. Oh, you started watching it because Frazier. I got you. Brass Knuckles. Oh, no. Furberger stops it. Furberger stops it right there in his tracks. Can you spare me some pizza? Furberger driving GQ Smooth's body down. Damn it, Reed. I did read. You said I. Furberger got him up. Burger bomb. Burger bomb going for the pin. One, two. Three, we're down to two. GQ Smooth or Michael Furberger is going to the championship match. Frazier came out of cheers. I know. That's what I said. Damn it, Vixen. GQ Smooth setting up. He's got him in the hug the world. Is Furberger going to tap? No. Furberger is fighting back. Furberger, mayor of Toronto, is still fighting back with that big Lariat takedown. Asked Austin to use his finisher or he doesn't give a shit. He'd have to ask. He'd have to ask. Furberger clotheslines GQ Smooth over. Rebuilding America. Trying to get back in this. No, that's what I said. Excuse me, Vixen. Excuse me. Furberger. Trying to pick him up. Powerbomb again. Going for that pin. One. Two. Furberger is going to the championship match. Again. Bless you. <laughs> Kevin strikes me as a humble guy that would ask. Brock would probably just give Awesome the finger. Now that, I uh, both, both sides, I 100% agree. He's too dominant. Look at that. He got put through the damn cage. I'm already exhausted. This is only match two. That's right, Michael Furberger. Throwing panties. I need it. You do need a flaming panty emote. That needs to be your emote, though. Red Walrus can make good flaming panties. <laughs> I 
I like Norm from Cheers. I always like Woody. Here we go. <laughs> Lol. I'm just saying, you do good work. Shh, that's a secret. Oh, no, I know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Apologies, apologies. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's do... Tag team. Frazier is bay. Do you think friends would sell well if next... Uh, I would say no, but that's me. Woody was a poor man's coach. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't change the damn venue. <sighs> Shit. <coughs> Necker responded to that, actually. They don't think it's worth it to try to do something from that. I don't think so, either. Royalty Boys for the win. No more invasion action apparently taking place on SmackDown. Uh, R.I.P. Coach. Did he die? What's his, What was his name? Excuse me. Did he die? What was his name? Shoot. Excuse me, he didn't change the venue. <clears throat> Was I the only one to debut and win a belt? SmackDown Live. Um, that's a good question. I don't have a solid answer for you. That's that's why uh, that's why they replaced him with Woody. Um, no, I, I meant in real life. I meant in real life. I don't mean in the show. Um. Man, that's a good question. I can't think of an of one that's exact just like that, but I don't know. It's a good question. I I I I'm not sure. He died in real life, that's where I... <laughs> I was asking, sometimes they kill people off on the show. The Royalty Boys, both of them are cruiserweights, 5'8 and 5'6, guess which is which? That is King NorCal, King NorCalian right here on Twitch, and of course, Mr. Chris Stuff. Let's go heavy and Canuck, undefined dime. Tonight is a little bit for redemption for the Royalty Boys. They're now on the same level as the ZCW guys, and that is why they are trying to get a little bit of revenge. But yeah, Killer Matt, I don't have a solid answer, but you're one of the only ones, if that is. And I would say maybe one other. Why are you being so aggressive to me? Excuse me. Ah, the, I don't have a tag team entrance set for them. That's all right. They're feeling funky and groovy because they are death, money, taxes, and metal. Flesh and boobs. Royalty boys for the win. That is Heavy D, the Galactic Champion, and Metal Canuck, a.k.a. Mr. Y. Drop him! Grr, fatality. All right, here we go. It's funny, I put Mr. Y in, but not Metal. All right, here we go. Metal Canuck, Dr. Disrespect look-alike, and Heavy D starting out strong, driving Kristoff down to the mat. Woo! Hey! <laughs> if you're gonna do it, at least put nipple tassels on it. Kristoff trying to take down the big man. Wubby Grinch? What the hell is that? 
Cobb's giving up. Ready for another heist. Kristoff flying. Ooh, quick splash in the corner right there. Six five four. Nice Fable. <laughs> Quit looking, Dan. She was flashing the crowd. Belly to belly inside to the man who's not even legal. That is what Heavy D does. Worked on King NorCal. Look at this. Quick takedown. The dominance of Heavy D early on in this match. Metal Canuck just watching. I was always watching. There you go. Have y'all tried the face app? Hell no. What's the face app? Christoph waiting. Waiting again. No. Hey, everybody. Ali D. Now you come in, man. Good to see you, buddy. Tassels. Yes. Hashtag nipple tassels. Belly to belly. Heavy D. Perfect time to show up. See, Ali D, that's what you're supposed to do. When your character's in the ring, that's when you show up. Not two matches later, Ali D. You're late. King NorCal in the car. Ooh, gets kicked to the gut. King NorCal trying to get a little bit of revenge. Belly to back suplex right there, dropping King NorCal in his head. Death money, taxes, and metal. Right now, heavy metal in the ring. Ting. I don't have a table emote. <laughs> Tassel emote. Flip. There you go. There you go. Metal Canuck systematically trying to take down King NorCal. King NorCal is a submission expert. And now, if he can't hold his legs up... Forgot when you started, I was on my PS4. Well, Ali D, you were in the opening match tonight. You were the opening, uh, you opened the show. NorCal from the top. Heavy D trying to... Heavy D blocking his path! Heavy D saving his partner, that's how tag team action works. Metal Canuck sliding in, trying to pick up the pieces. Hey, Heavy D. Wink, whoop, whoop. Good to see you, Heavy D. How was your Tuesday, dude? You're not driving, are you? You're not pulling a shifted, right? King NorCal, desperation. Quick takedown to him. Kick to the face. Thank you, Eski. Quick take back right there. Oh, a Canadian backhand. King NorCal gives it right back. Big flying forearm into the turnbuckle. NorCal walking into his feet. Cool, I'll check it on the YouTube. You can check it on the Twitch, too. You got this, NorCal. It looks like NorCal's got much. Ah, now he tagging in Kristoff. Kristoff, the Wonderbeard. Good, glad you had a good day, man. It's Tuesday. It's hard to have a good day on a Tuesday. Uh, lol. King NorCal for the win. Eski beats. Eski Beats competed for the first time last night, and unlike Killer Matt, did not pick up a championship. Sending Metal Canuck into the ropes, double team action. Let's him back body drop right there. King NorCal, foot stomps right to the chest, right on that logo. Metal Canuck brushed his mustache before the match. King NorCal always looking prim and proper. Hand up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I lost. Kick his ass, Seabass. Fatality. What are you having for dinner tonight, Fatality? That being said, what is everybody having for dinner tonight or had for dinner? I had strawberries and whipped cream, not a salad. Jealous. A little bit of a double axe handle. I'm going for the winner. <laughs> Seabass, get your ass. SK, burgers and fries. From where? Oh, King NorCal flip up with that crazy kick to the side of the head. And King NorCal's got to jump a fair, fair ways to get up to Heavy D's height. Cheetos? Duh. Come on, MC. Come on. <laughs> From the grill. You grill your fries? How does that work? What does that taste like? I slept, slept through my dinner. What are you eating now? Fish burger, yummy. Don't you mean sour cream porridge? Dan Frode. Chicken breast with bourbon, bourbon glaze, broccoli, mac and cheese, and dinner roll. That sounds awesome. Lethal, what'd you have for dinner? 
I had a burger too. I. <laughs> no! Heavy D fighting out multiple big hammer fists right there to the face of King NorCal. It was I. <laughs> Yours was better, Vixen. I had homemade bread with melted mar marinated mozzarella on it. What the hell? Melted marinated mozzarella. What did you marinate your mozzarella with? Christopher Martin. Appreciate that host, man. Chris Duff working out his shoulder. Mozzarella, get your ass. Good to see you, buddy. How was your Tuesday doing? Fatality. Big high knee. <clears throat> Ooh. Heavy D off the ropes. Dropping the elbow. Old school Hulk Hogan style. It's marinated in, in olive oil and Italian spices. Does that work? Does does cheese like soak up like the spices and olive oil? Heavy D wrenching back on the face of Kristoff. I wish I could cook. That's why I had strawberries and whipped cream. No cooking, but I'm lazy. Kristoff fighting back. Nobody pulls on his fantastic beard. Fantastic. Heist. Kristoff, kick to the gut. Rock right through. Oh my God! From the second rope. A little bit of stuffed crust action. Yeah, it works like that. Interesting. It sounds delicious. It sounds awesome. Not eating nothing at the moment. Having bean cheese and sausage paste later. Roll to bonus for the win. Strawberries and whipped cream. Marte hot. Oh, whipped cream. The ref is down thanks to Heavy D's. Uh, a good day to you, Mr. Metal Canuck. How did you know you were wrestling tonight? King NorCal, quick pull up power bomb. Going for that pin. One, two. Oh. Strawberries dipped in chocolate whipped cream is the best. I was out of chocolate. I used it for body paste. I want to feed you strawberries. Paste. Pasty, not paste. What? You're gonna put bean pasty? Called it. The royalty boy with a little bit of redemption against heavy metal tonight. Four months. Look at that. Four months. ZCW has been running wild all over SCW. Tonight, the tables have turned with two back to back wins over their competitors. Metal Canuck showed up just in time to lose. Good to see you, Metal Canuck. How can you run out of chocolate? What kind of adult are you? Doing some kind of weird salute right there, but regardless, you're a winner. The Royalty Boys, NorCal and Kristoff. Pasty. Pa pasty, pasty, pasty. What? <laughs> Just in time to see Heavy lose. Yeah, but you were in that match too. Rematch! Can't happen. Wait, I'm chocolate. I'm enough. That's true. That's true. Um, it's the Royal Crest. Ah, I like it. What's the first match? Cool. What design on the belt? Oh yeah, th that's you, man. You're the you're the bad guy now. But Jizzy, you got chocolate. It's true. I do got chocolate, but that doesn't really work yet. Uh, and another win. Shh. Spoilers. Don't be spoiling it. All right. Um. All right, let's do the champs match. Woo! Who's next? I give up. Thank you, thank you. Just, just give up. I'm changing the arena now, Vixen. Thank you. <laughs> You and me, Fable. Um, I do like the bad guy turn, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're the undefeated champion, dude. 
Like, this is July, and you have never been beaten for that title. Not one time. That's a bad guy. Gotta go. Bye, chat. Are you gonna go play games? Is it, are, you, are you leaving to play games? Uh, Arnold Palmer with Ginger Ale. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. Um... Ready. Could remember the other one. Not yet. All right, a little bit of champions match. None of your business. I was curious what you're gonna play tonight. You never told me. Uh, Fable Mad Love. Night Vixen. When did I win the title last year? That's a good damn question. I don't know offhand. Uh, chocolate and cream perforoles. Yes, sometimes you can get perforoles, sometimes not. Tell us you traitor. <laughs> hey, Charlie, drink some root beer. I don't know if it's in this book or not, dude. Because it's about time for a new book. Okay, so that's the nerd champion. And... Okay, so, so Homebody won it. Okay, this is from January. So I don't even have the book that you won it. And this right here, this is all of this year's matches and everything. Yeah, and I don't even have it when you won it here. So it's been a bit. It's been a bit. I can look at it later. I try to order those from my local Italian palace, but they're always out. Chocolate cream profiteroles? Ooh. Fable Vixen is about to be grown up. Guess Fatality, 20 more root beers. Mmm, root beer. That is Bros, the Platinum King. Over 230 Platinum Trophies right here on the PlayStation. So many trophies, he actually got them all, melted them down, and dyed his skin Platinum. He is now the FCW World Heavyweight Champion, defeating none other than Red Walrus to get that title. Tonight, nothing's on the line except pride. Champion. Nice, like when Furberger was winning in the first year. Very close to it, dude. Very close. Nice belt, mofo. It's so cheap over here, I bet. Bro showing off a little bit of his hard side tonight. So many back and forth matches between the mailman and Tandis. It was ridiculous. But at crossroads, it had to end with one man or the other. The mailman using his trickery dickery ways ended up being the finale for the King of Hell champion. Tandis is going to be back in the running for that belt very, very soon. You can guarantee it. I heard my name. You talking shit? <laughs> whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Maybe I try for the top title on SCW next move now that I'm the bad guy. Might happen. It might happen, Allie. Tantus still watching. I went to your favorite shop on the weekend, Nerdy. Boots! Only picked up some sunglasses. That's the only reason I want to go to the UK so I can go to Boots. That's the only reason. I would like, get off the airport, take me to a Boots, get me back on the plane, I'm going back home. I went to Boots. Freddy's Ready started his SCW career in the tag team division. Him and Joey Undead just was unable to sink. 
They looked good. They worked good as a team, but they just could not capture any gold. And since splitting, those two have been an unstoppable singles competition back to back to back. Freddie's ready, holding multiple singles championships, including the Operation Hunger World. But now he is the extreme champion, and he fights for himself tonight. That being said, Joey Undead will be here later tonight. Uh, not even in S Scotland for an iron brew? <laughs> well, I, I don't have to go to Scotland for an iron brew. I've got it right here. I don't have a boots right here. Sub Shaggy Norvels. Good to see a Metal Canuck. Did Tuesday treat you well? Freddy. All right, champs match tonight inside of a steel cage. Three-way dance. We don't do this very often. <coughs> Me and Freddie, one-time tag champs too. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That, that's the holiday champs, though. That, that's a different. That's a different playing field. Freddie, for the win. Let's your white nightmares. Go check out Freddie's ready, bitch. Bitch. Freddie ducks under that clothesline from Mailman. Big clothesline into the corner. Bro is getting up. The heavyweight champion is going after Freddie's ready. Mailman down. Just regrouping with Undefined Diamond Heavy D. There you go. There you go. You guys in a big huddle? Mailman missed the kick. Freddy pokes him in the eye. Big crossbody takedown. Bros coming in with the drop kick. I love my nightmare. What What, what is your nightmare, Dan? Snapmare takedown. Punch to the face. Bros. Multiple punches to Freddy's face. Come to Wales for a Welsh cake and some Barra Births. Seaweed on toast. Actually sounds pretty good. I like toast. I've had, um, I want to say not, not fried seaweed, but like baked seaweed before. It's not bad at all. Elbows. Bro is throwing multiple elbows and they are not protected. His elbows are straight to you. That's just a little piece of leather. There's no padding there. Big clothesline. Your, your nightmare is not to get a lady friend? Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to go all super kinky. Not realistic. Mailman is the largest man in this ring tonight. Ooh! Freddy hurt himself trying to take down the mailman. There is no climbing out of the cage. You have to get a fall inside of the steel. Is Freddy still streaming or is he having a break? Fre Freddy is... Freddie is uh, revamping. We'll put it that way. He's, he's done with YouTube. I'm not sure if he's done with Twitch or not, but he's definitely done with YouTube. That's exactly it. Bake seaweed. Bam! No, not elimination. My, lap, my rap lyrics are nightmares. It's true. It's true. Bros, neckbreaker right there. Going after Freddie. Freddie just waiting. All men are champions right now. Big headbutt. Freddy starts to celebrate, gets caught off to the side. Jawjacker throws that drop kick. Perfect back and forth. Every time one person starts to get the momentum, another guy stands up to keep it rolling back around. Just not seen it for a while. It's been about a week, I think. I think it's been about a week. Sometimes you got to take some time off. Neck breaker. Except for me, I'm not allowed to take time off. I've been told. I've been told by the massive audience, I'm not allowed to take off. So I get it. I get it. That's right. Unless you want nightmares, go check out Freddy Redovic. Throwing bros into the steel cage. You gotta watch. Make sure he's not busted open. Not that it's first blood, but maybe we should have made it first blood. That'd have been kind of cool. Mailman just dropped Freddy right in his head. Mailman definitely has the strength. Get twisted. I ain't seen twisted in a minute either. I've seen him on Instagram. But that's about it. Probably because I'm not on PS4 much these days. True, true. Leg sweep takedown. That's right, no time off for you. I know, I know. 24-7, bitch. Or you can have some haggis, um, neeps, and tatties with all 
with with LED. <laughs> I've had haggis chips. I don't know what neeps and tatties are, though. Mailman, climb in the cage. You can't escape, but you can do some damage from up there. Dropping the elbow right to the heart of Freddy's ready. Hey! What's going on, Quarter Boss? Appreciate that follow. Hope you're doing well tonight. Sounds good, Esky. Two! Mailman almost picked up a three count. I wish it would flash on the screen. That's my only wish. Ew, Haggis. If Haggis is prepared properly, it is not bad. Bros is still down over there. Mailman still in charge of this. Look at that crazy right hand. Hey, uh, Red Jizzy allowed the weekends off. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you allowed what? Technically, I only get Saturday off. I'm back on Sundays. Mailman got him up. Special delivery right there to Freddy. Going for that pin. Bros is still down. One, two. Mailman is your winner in the champions match. Fallen. Fatality got laid back by, by a haggis. <laughs> Damn. We just need Jazzmaz up in here. We got the full team. Mailman did a number on both competitors, including the world heavyweight champion. Haggis, get your ass. Bros, Bros has not got up from that knelt position in, what, three minutes? Something like that? Jizzy puts on private shows for me and Dan every Saturday. That's how Dan has over 500 hours. Special delivery to Freddy. There was no getting up after that. Deep inside the cage. Had haggis once, never again. I, I've, I've only had the chips, and I, I like the chips, but that's about it. I mean, I would try it. Jazzman's supposed to be doing some accounting. Haggis is like chitlins. Again, I've had chitlins, so I know that I don't want them. I've not had haggis. need to have it, so I go, no. Mailman still showing his dominance. Tandis glaring from the ringside. Meow. All right, speaking of Tandis, he is up. And I'm telling you right now, guys, you do not want to miss our main event tonight. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Speaking of haggis, one man who eats it all the time, Mr. Purple Army. Chitlins are deep fried and usually somewhat dry. Haggis is not dry. That's not the point behind it. I appreciate that, Spock. That's not the point. Elimination Chamber or Main Event? No, Main Event is after this. I'm... What, that, what that's called is hyping for the Main Event. Alright. So once again, uh, uh, I'm in the Main Event? No! No! You're not in the Main Event. <laughs> Home by the couch! <laughs> That's great. Uh, the smell makes me go bleh. Can you describe the smell, Allie D, of haggis? Herman Tandy? What is going on, Herman Tandy? Good to see you, buddy. All right, this is not the main event, just to clarify. This is basically round two of the number one contender for the heavyweight championship. One of these men will join Rose and Michael Furberger. Hey, Andy. Beats! What's up, Andy? Beats. <laughs> See what you get when you come in here, Herman Tandy? There you go. So there actually is a, a funny story about the, the name Herman. So, a few years ago, hi, 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 or Triple H, a few years ago, 
we would go out with a, a like a group of friends, right? And there was this one girl, and I can't even remember her name, but she brought her boyfriend around, right? And we were sitting across each other. We were at B-dubs, sitting across from each other. And I said, man, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. And another friend of mine leaned in and he, goes, he says, that's her man. And I go, Herman? And he goes, no, my name's not Herman. I go, so I've, for some reason, it's always stuck in my head. Anytime I saw him, I go, Herman, how you doing? And, and now I see Herman Tandy. Uh, gaming girl fan. Appreciate that follow. How are you doing tonight? How was your Tuesday treating you? But anyway, anytime I see Herman Tandy, I always think of Herman for some damn reason. Don't ask me why. My brain works in mysterious ways. I don't remember because I don't want to smell it again. Try. Double frog bro. What the hell? You know it's Hermit Andy. No, it's Herman Tandy. I told you, I just told you why it's Herman Tandy. I get it, but look at it, Herman Tandy. What's going on, V-Twin? How did you know you were wrestling tonight? Did you get some, like, ESPN reception going out there? How did you know? <laughs> V-Twin, what you been doing tonight, man? You been gaming? Been setting up? What's up, man? Herman Tandis. No, no, Tan different guy. <laughs> Looks like uh, V Twin will start it off inside the cage. Sub. The, the hell? Herman Andy, Herman Tandy, yes, Herman Tandy. <laughs> it's all where you put the comma. Herman, no, not Herman Munster. V-Twin was the first man to defeat Michael Furberger one-on-one -on -one for that prestigious World Heavyweight Championship. And then he was unceremoniously taken off the throne by none other than Red Walrus and was unable to get a rematch. Tonight, can the small man climb back to the top and get his number one contender spot for the SCW World Heavyweight Championship? You twat, thank you. <laughs> Three damn nights in a row I fought. True. Jim Ross told Twin, what? Uh, <laughs> Herman's Mustard. No, that's Helmet. <laughs> Helmet's Mustard. Next up, we've got Retro Mortis. Retro Mortis tried his damnedest to get the uh, Holiday Tag Team Championship. Was very unsuccessful, but tonight could find himself in a good spot. Anyway, Hermit Andy, how are you doing? Fine, I'll pronounce your name properly. It's been years, bro. That's because your V stands for vengeance. I like that, I like that. Go V-Twin! Retro Mortis got a Hellish collection right there on Instagram. Make sure you check him out. Nah, 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 nah. He had him, oh, Jim Ross told him. I got, I got you, I got you. Go for V-Twin for the win. Fear the beard, the hardest working man in all of SCW, Tandis fam. The dude is the blue collar through and through. He's actually supposed to be working right now, but he clocked out, came to the wrestling ring, win, lose, or draw. He's driving back to work, finishing his shift because that's how he does it. I'm fine, thanks, how are you? What's going on, Magic Wrestling? Good to see you. Now it's gone. Uh, I should post the free comic I got a few weeks ago on IG. Yeah, you should. I'm kind of hyped for this Raw reunion. Hello, Magic Wrestling. Hello, Dr. Nick. Fear the beard. Good to see y'all. Swell. How's Magic Wrestling been? The man who is fueled off of Iron Brew and Haggis. Scottish born and bred. He is purple. 
army. And yes, he wears his kilts traditional, meaning you might see a flash if you look up the skirt. Also, he had the largest beard ever last night in the crazy big head match. That was hilarious. Damn, I almost got kicked from Listwitz for the record. I didn't start it. What did you do, Fallen? Go Purple! Hand up. Go Purple! Heavy D. Yeah, it'll be cool to see who Bray attacks next. I, I saw I saw the little clips of the new mask and stuff. I thought it was pretty awesome. I like how Bray can reinvent himself a few times. I think that's um, that's what keeps him fresh, and that's what keeps him on the minds of people, and that's what real superstars need to do. DMK, he is into magic and butt stuff, and perhaps he could be the number one contender for the World Heavyweight title. I'm worried about what it'll look like when I eventually end up in a big head that has so much hair. It can't be as bad as, as purple. Oh, shit. Forgot there was one more. And Mr. Homebody will start. Two guys were being mean to me, so I talk shit back. Good. I'm proud of you. Do not ever let anybody walk over. Anybody. I've been good. Just about to head into Magic Mania in my universe mode. David Blaine versus Chris Angel. <laughs> that is awesome. The Mind Freak Live World Championship. That is a thing of beauty, my friend. Take no prisoners, exactly. That is that is beautiful. Just the words you wrote is beautiful. I love it. Will you do big head matches again? Yes, we actually have a big head championship. Um, hopefully we'll do that next week. We'll actually like start working for the people to be the big head champion. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. My money's on Chris Angel, by the way. I know, hating on David Blaine, but my money's on Chris Angel. Are you ready? DMK and Mr. Homebody are starting off this match. DMK was there earlier. Not sure if he's still around, but clothesline from the K, the Dark Magic Elf. And look at him right there. Dark Magic Knight. Sorry, not Elf. He could be an Elf. He's got that back hug. No, Homebody refuses. Homebody is the unsung champion of SCW. He has never captured any gold in his entire career. Could he strike it rich by becoming the world heavyweight champion after so, so long? Go David! What? Like in Goliath? Just a one cow right there and here comes spot number two. I'm a magician in real life and a huge wrestling fan, so it works for doing what I'm doing. Are you? Are you? You're, you're actually can do magicians, ma like magic tricks and stuff. Um, oh, what the hell was his name? I cannot think of his name. But uh, in the '90s, I actually uh, sent away for uh, a magic wrestling tape on VHS, right? And he would actually teach you the secrets behind a lot of these tricks. And I can't remember his damn name. Uh, good game, guys. Let me, let me think. Mark Wilson. It was Mark Wilson. He had a big magic show that was on TV like in the 60s and 70s. And uh, Doug Henning. No. Um, but yeah, it was really cool to see the behind the scenes. And this was in the 90s. There was no internet or anything. So if you want to learn magic tricks, uh, you meet him. But yeah, Mark Wilson's, I can't remember the name of the show. But, yeah, it was actually really, really neat. Tanda's trying to get Homebody to tap out. Well, this land is now being invaded by the Rebel Army. Bow down to me, South Rebel. Good to see you, my friend. How you doing, buddy? Tanda sending DMK into that ring pole, and here comes V-Twin. Um, the amazing Jonathan was hilarious. Is he part of your, uh, is Jonathan part of your uh, wrestling roster? He was awesome. It's easy to make the 24-7 belt on 2K19. Yeah, because people have already made it. All you got to do is download it. Mr. Homebody hanging Tandis out to dry. I like magic. What kind of magic do you do, South? Big clothesline from DMK. DMK and Homebody started this off, and they are still in it. Got something to prove. 
Homebody sending Tannis into that pod. Got him up. Charging him into that, that hard, hard rail. I'm trying to do uh, trying to do hypnosis. Like the like the real deal stuff or like the, the plant in the audience stuff. Not really magic. <laughs> It's magic how I still get up in the morning. No doubt, dude. I wish I could channel that. DMK running Tannis into their damn steel. Purple Army now in the match. DMK is climbing for safety. V-Twin better watch out. Oh, my God. DMK just crashed right on V-Twin Productions. It's magic how SCW exists. You're right. Purple going for the pin on home. No. No. Retro Mortis, the only one left in the cage, waiting in the wings to get into this match. Like we said before, Furberger was last. Furberger won the match. Last one in has got the greatest opportunity to win this tournament. Neckbreaker by Tandis to V-Twin, and here comes Retro. DMK is down. Retro going straight for... No, this is not a title match. This is number one contenders match. Retro going for homebody. Neck snap right there. Retro going for the weakest man. Homebody starting this out. Homebody going back at him. V-Twin getting his head taken in the turnbuckle. Fireman's carry from DMK. Tan is in a bad way right now. DMK got him up. See, Paul Heyman wasn't happy with Vince because the Intercontinental title was the kickoff show. I agree. They, I don't know, but can't get into that it, it's all it's all politics that i just i don't know what was that <laughs> cops are patrolling i did send you pics on twitter i have not been on yet i will uh i will check it out tomorrow just a two count from tandis points Ooh, damn it v twin a space goats rider also harry to houdini versus dynamo for the grand magic championship at magic mania I love that. I love that. So, uh, I, I probably asked you this before. Do you stream this, Magic Wrestling? Do you stream your stuff? <clears throat> and do you have uh, social media and stuff? Mr. Homebody running that poor Fear the Beard Tandis into the ring. Yes. I watched Chris Angel. Are you bragging, so? Are you, bra you bragging, so? Homebody. Homebody almost got the pinfall. V-Twin going for the pin on Retro. Retro the freshman. One. New. No. Homebody's couch. Heist. Homebody going again for the pin on Tandis. One. Two. Homebody has eliminated the Tandis. I only have Frack Book on YouTube. Damn it, man. I have a YouTube, but that's about it. You need to get yourself an Instagram because I want to see these titles and stuff, too. Homebody got a pin. Homebody couch. Dynamo is rubbish magician. I don't like him. The whole walk on water trick is a setup. And Twitch. Yeah, obviously Twitch. I, just, I like Instagram. Instagram, you can post pictures and stuff. Twitter, things get lost in the shuffle. Purple Army going up top. Retro Mortis, dazed and confused. Homebody getting side salto. Purple Army. Oh, what the hell was that? It's like he slipped off the top and still managed to punch Retro in the kneecap. Followed magic. Yeah, so true. Wow, he just bowled over the ref like it was nothing. Oh, he doesn't care. V-Twin in the ring. Homebody's busted open. Purple Army going after DMK. V-Twin going with the pin on Retro. One, two, no. Lady Bells, I appreciate you hanging out. I'm sorry you had to go to that evil, evil dentist. Homebody working on his rotator cuff as Purple Army takes out DMK. Homebody. Homebody, homebody. It's a three-way up there with DMK just the way he likes it as V-Twins working on Retro Mortis. I survived the experience. Still, though. Still. I've been in the dentist a couple times this year. I still don't like it. V-Twin couldn't get Purple Army up. Misses the clothesline. V-Twin in a bad way. Homebody with a punch and elbow to the back. Way to go. I think hypnosis can be done in chat rooms just to make sure they aren't doing anything else. I missed it! Did V-Twin just get pinned? Homebody! No! I think V-Twin just got pinned by Purple Army. 
the hopes and dreams of V-Twin go crashing out the window. We're down to four. One, two, DMK is still alive. Purple Army still in it. Retro and the resilient one, Mr. Homebody's lifestyle. I'll be getting one since I have joined the IBM. Homebody eliminated Purple Army, we're down to three. Since I have to join the IBM in real life, uh, International Brotherhood of Magicians, that's awesome, dude. Homebody and DMK started this match, and they are still in it with Retro Mortis, the last man standing. Homebody is still there. DMK is trying to hold on. Retro has got that cinched in. No, DMK does not tap. Homebody still fighting to the back of Retro. Retro turns it around. Homebody flying elbow. Trying to take down Retro. Homebody is bleeding. Homebody folding him up in half. Got the bow and arrow. Locked in. Is Retro Mortis going to tap out? He was the freshest man. He was the last man in. Still holding on. Retro digging down deep. Thinking of the collection. Turns it around. Homebody kicks him off. DMK laser line focus until he meets a right hand from Homebody. Homebody snaps over. Gets leg drop. Takedown. Retro focusing on the wrong man. Homebody laser kick to the back. Homebody couch going for the pin on DMK. One, two. DMK is eliminated. We're down to two. Homebody, the first man in. Retro Mortis, the last man in. Who will be joining Furberger and Bros? Homebody has got the ankle lock locked in on Retro. Retro digging down deep. No, kicks him off. This is going to be intense right here. Retro kick to the gut. Swing a neck breaker right there. That has got to be it. Homebody is down. Homebody is settling down. Now that's going to get married. That makes a lot of sense. Retro is not countering. Retro is not going for the pin for some damn reason. He wants to inflict more pain on Homebody. What is this? Homebody trying to get to the ring ropes. Getting himself up. He's bleeding. He's trying to focus. Side Salto backbreaker again. Retro just toying with his prey right now. Just toying with Mr. Homebody. Dead set center of the ring. Got him up. Neckbreaker right there. Ain't nobody like a homebody going for the pin on homebody. One, two, three. Retro will be going to the main event. Damn it, homebody. He tried. Homebody tried so hard, but Retro Mortis was the man who drew dead last, and that is the one you want. Back-to-back, -back, sixth place entry, picks up a win, but Homebody did most of the work, pinning two of the competitors and eliminating them. Congratulations. Here is your winner, Retro Mortis. Retro Mortis toyed with Homebody. Trying to prove a point. Maybe this is Retro's time to shine. Heist. And the four women's magical champions will be Kristen Lambert versus Nika Magic Babe. I don't know a lot of female magicians. I, I think that's sad, but I just I just don't know. Shaggy, what's a good match? I'm just calling random people out. I don't know any female magicians. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Fallen. Extreme rolls. All right. We're not fighting at the Metropolitan Center. Damn it. 
Oh, I wish there was buried alive too. Dude, I wish there was. Oh, duh. All right, guys, it is time for our main event on Tuesday Night Turbo. Whew. They have been waiting for months for this, for a little bit of redemption, because Norvis, part of the ZCW invasion, came in and took the paperweight championship away from not only Joey, but of course Shaggy as well. At that point, that's when it was all said and done. Norvis then comes back, wins his own number one contendership so that even at Crossroads, nobody can even challenge him for that paperweight championship. Well, now that all debts are settled, it is time for the conclusion. Norvis versus Shaggy versus Joey Undead for the SCW paperweight championship. Killer Matt wanting to get a spin in. All right, we'll do it, man. We'll get you going. All right, Killer Matt. We will do our best to show it. No prize. I'm trying to show you that it's legit. See, the, the arrow's here, and here's a prize, here's a prize, and here's a prize. No prize. What's up, Purple Army? How did you know that you had a match tonight, and then you show up right after it was over? <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Sorry, Killer Matt. This is for all the shagsters out there. Hey, what's going on, Tib? Shagsters unite! Shaggy, the first SCW paperweight champion of them all. He coveted that belt and he defended it with honor and prestige for so long until Joey Undead came and unseated him. Shaggy's going to try to get it back tonight. And David Copperfield and Mike Canellis is the magic love match. <laughs> it's magic versus love match. That's beautiful, dude. That's beautiful. It's a gift. Good to see you, Purple. How you doing, man? When it gets Maria, ah! <laughs> I like that. I like that. Can I fight in that one too? Can I fight in that one too? Yes, I am. And you start pulling scarves out of your hand, smoke fingers. I dropped that follow for you, Magic. I want to check out what you do, dude. If you want to be, you need a career wrestler first. Uh, what's the flyweight division? Paperweight. Paperweight division. That is Joey Undead, also known as King Undead, because he won the championship for the king of SCW. Good to see you, Tib. Esky Beats. I meet Maria in 20, uh, 2002 at Bloomingdale's. Sweet. That was when she was like super duper hot. Because she was like 20 or something. 
Paper is too heavy. What will Bantha Waits do? <laughs> Norvis was the second SCW Tag Team Champion with his partner, Lethal C5K. Then he was unceremoniously fired. At that point, he went off to make ZCW part of the original Invaders. So all you guys, Heavy D, Metal Canuck, Killer Matt, you are built on the back of that man right there, Norvis. Norvis is part of the biggest invasion when he took the paperweight champ from not only Joey, but he took it from all of SCW. Tonight is a little bit time for redemption but Norvis is a threat to be reckoned with. It's only mind control. Hypnosis is real. Peeps! What is going on, Liswitz? How was the show tonight, buddy? Um, I didn't think it was possible to control someone's mind. I think, I salute him. I think that the way that I've always interpreted like real hypnosis is the power of suggestion. Like that, I've always thought about that. It, it, you can kind of think of like a Jedi mind trick. Like the weak-minded are typical higher for the the suggestive traits. So if you're willing to let yourself be open to uh, hypnosis, then you're willing to balk like a chicken on stage. That's just me. Uh, through suggestion, you can. Yeah. Hey, hey, I knew something. Um, I wouldn't kick her out of bed. <laughs> Let, let's be honest, Fallen. Would you kick any woman out of bed? But just between just between you and me, ignore the chat. Told you, Mark Wilson got into me, man. All the way back in 1995. I don't remember when I bought that damn VHS tape. I still have it too. Uh, I, I, love, I have learned the words you need to use. Norvis, Joey, with that kick, and yes, the championship is on the line. He's awesome. Shaggy going after Joey. I should have made this elimination, but Mark Price. <laughs> I should have made an elimination, but it's all right. It's extreme rules. You can use bats, chairs, ladders, whatever you can get your hands on. Who do you guys think will take the paperweight championship home? Shaggy turning around, trying to break that shoulder. Walruses do not balk. That one does. Joey in to pick up the pieces as soon as Shaggy is done with that big high knee. Norvis throwing bows, clothesline Joey up over and out. It's very few though, I miss having Tang on a dry spell. It's not very often I'm left speechless, but that worked. <clears throat> Mark's old now and have taught me one of his favorite tricks. Oh, he was old when I had the damn VHS tape in the 90s. <laughs> what? <laughs> in the end, Nerdy takes all the belts home. That's where the game is saved after all. It's true, it's true. Shaggy sliding in. No, sliding back out. Going back in, take on Joey. Joey jumps over, jumps down, Shaggy, roll, rock, roll it, neck breaker from Joey. Joey going up top, Shaggy desperate, trying to win back the championship, no, he's telling Shaggy to get up, Norvis is down, Metal Canuck is confused, big flying crossbody taking down Shagalicious. <laughs> Still like the idea of Metal Canuck, you know, working on a math problem up here. <laughs> Norvis has got a Singapore cane. Oh, super kick from Joey. Joey catches it. Oh, he turns it around on Norvis. Get back in there, Spidey. Shaggy, Shaggy. Joey used the Singapore cane twice on Norvis. One, two. Wow, that was quick. That's what she said. Someone needs a Scoobert do to bail him out. What? Nerdy hypnosis like, balk like a chicken because deep down inside he thinks he wants to be one right now. Yep, true, true, true. Thank you, Metal. Damn it! Joey used the Singapore cane. Oh, hell, the king, baby. Joey undead. 
technically tonight finally got his one on one rematch. Shaggy just happened to be there. And new SCW paper weight champion, King Joey Undead. Ah. He looks like a paperweight. Hey, Clark Bars. I love Clark Bars. Thank you very much for the follow. Joey Undead walks out with a new championship around his waist. What will happen next week on Tuesday Night Turbo? Do not miss it. But first, do not miss tomorrow night, Wednesday evening takedown. Wet Wednesday will be full. In fact, all of your favorite SCW superstars will be there and ready to go. And some of your ZCW guys will, of course, be invading. Blah, can't sleep. Dell, you just miss homebody almost win. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you can't sleep, Dell. Was your uh, Netflix and chill not, uh, not up to snuff tonight? Let me see who we got going on. Oh, finally. All right. Uh, and I take on Mr. McMahon as an ownership match since McMahon is trying to take MFW. Oh, that's awesome. He was so close. He was so close, though. All right, guys, so that is all for me tonight. Tomorrow we'll be back with a comic book stream and, of course, more SCW wrestling action. So we get a full Nerdy Effect week this week. Uh, there's a whole lot. As always, and tonight especially, I ask you guys to click on that raid button if you have the means to do so. And you know what? I'm not going to even do it. I'm going to host. I'm going to host. All right, as always, I ask you guys to follow the host tonight. I would like you to do so as well. This would mean the world to me, if you will, because uh, it's about getting out there. It's about networking, and that's what we're trying to do. And uh, the more you guys hang out, the awesome we look. So if you guys will, just follow that host, and uh, make sure you throw up the nerd circles if you got them in this chat. And I guarantee it, you guys are going to like this guy a lot. You're gonna He's a top streamer. You guys are going to like him a lot. Love the show tonight. Magic Wrestling, always come back. We're on here four nights a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night wrestling action. So uh, same time, man. It'd be great to have you back, and I can't wait to watch your show. All that being said, I'll be back tomorrow night, Wednesday. Follow that host, Nerd Circle, to you all. Boom. Send it to the chat. Smash my five.